Hey, partner. You got a real talent, friend. Hey there, mister. Howdy, friend. Come on, pal. Oh my God! I'll be tending to you shortly. I bay a service. That son of a bitch can swing for all I care. Yes, I know. Yep. Would be nice to see some new faces through here. Sleep out your eyes, we're here. 
Thanks for that. Good luck to you. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Right, yikes! I'm fine. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, give me a hit! Right here! Ooh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the man hard. Don't. Oh! <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. Oh. Oh. Enough, gentlemen? Uh, yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Huh, okay then.
Desiree. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. You're dead! Justin, nah. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
Idiot. Hey there, friend. Come! Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands. Maybe millions of plants. All across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm... Ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Keep clear. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. Come on.
Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh.
you have anything to spare for a blind man? Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Cigars, a wife with soft hands, a hundred servants, a mansion, a summer house by a northern lake. It's all there for you, all of it and more, if you're man enough to take it. I'm man enough, I'm man enough to stand here and make a prize dull to myself for you because I care. I care. But let me be clear I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book. Read the book, do precisely what I say, and you'll be the man. Building railways, opening factories. You won't be riding the railway, you'll be owning them. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Incredible. I bring you knowledge from the East. The knowledge of New York! The brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the South to help those wise enough to help themselves. Let me help you help yourselves. If you wouldn't mind taking a step or two back. Help the wise for the foolish are beyond saving. A little more space here to operate would be appreciated. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. I promise great riches in exchange for a book. Read this book, follow my simple guidelines, and opulence awaits. If you wouldn't mind taking a step or two back. Who doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom? Now you can. As thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for. The chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you proved you were cream, and not milk! the famous Grand Corrigan. Hey, I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. 
You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. You can't happen to me. I will kill both of you! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, no, no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Sir. Tell you, do not get yourself drunk before you hop onto a train. Last hop you'll ever make. I've seen it myself.
You, I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> hey, boy. I've been praying for someone like you to come, son. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. 
<sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? Let's go for a ride. Ah. Before you got so short, son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion, sort of. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to him. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit! I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to Liberty. This is it. Down here, it's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. You got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <sighs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that, then. Shut up. I shot him in the goddamn back! When these things happen... God damn you! Goddamn both of you! Now calm down! Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato! Come on! Draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. 
Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Go, boy. Yep. We warned you not to come back on our. 